And our team coverage continues tonight. While many are staying safe by staying home, police officers continue to work protecting the communities they serve. But as Channel 3's Eva Zamaris explains, there are extra measures in place to better protect everyone during the coronavirus pandemic. To protect and to serve. We still have to be out here. It's a promise made by police departments everywhere. We're taking the steps that we can. But it's taken on a whole new meaning amidst the coronavirus pandemic. Everyone's on high alert here. To get an inside look at the measures Hartford police are taking to keep everyone safe, we spoke with Sergeant Michael Jobes. Enforcement of the law and criminal activity remains the same. You see the same amount of officers out there. But now you might hear this message playing from their cruisers in both English. And reduce your contact with others. And in Spanish. Si obedecemos las advertencias, salvaremos vidas. When police see large groups gathering. And stay at least six feet away from other people if you must be outside. Where you can find more officers is in Teleserve. It's for the, the property damage complaints. Just the general questions people are, people are calling more often. That's why we've added extra staffing up there. And when officers are responding to a call, they're asking the person or people needing their help to come outside when possible. That's our way of protecting our officers, their families, as well as the public. They have seen a drop in calls in one area specifically. With more and more people staying home and off these roads, Hartford police say they've responded to way less crashes these last 10 days. In their cruisers, you'll find gloves and masks. Fancy one, M92. They're also cleaning their cruisers often. At the both beginning and the end of their shift. Their efforts and the work they continue to do. A guy pulled out to me, beeping his horn, just to say hello and, th and thank us for coming to work. Certainly has not gone unnoticed. In Hartford, Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.